Hey, good morning. Okay, we got stuff out in the barn. We got stuff by the pool out here, in the garage, in the house, and downstairs so in the basement. There is a ton of stuff. Nice. Um, 50 off today until we're going to close at 2 o'clock. We're open back at 2.30, and it'll be 75 off. Nice. Oh, that's a nice in there, 70s. Um, awesome. I know, right? And then 80s and 90s. Thank you. Most of the old ones are in the big one there. I think the one to the left is most of the 90s. Okay. Is that your dad? Oh, yeah. Okay. If you wait until you're like 17. <laughs> 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 More bread lines at a yard sale. Those, those are good ones. Yeah. The pink and purple ones are good. Oh man, I can't believe I found this. I was not expecting that. Thank Come over and do like the office and I'll pop something else yep. and have something to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do <laughs> <don't laughs> <laughs> Thanks for this one. Yeah, I don't know about these. Going back for more. Uh, round two. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Not those. The really fancy ones. Okay. Christopher Radico. I saw this one time and I was like, whoa. <laughs> Hundreds. <laughs> oh, those are the cool yeah, bubble lights. Mm. Oh, what's that stuff? <laughs> those are neat. I hope they work. Good spot. No, okay. I say we don't need any more bottles. It looks old. I like it. It would be a good candle holder, and it's old if you can. And if There's no way a candle can on that. You're right. <laughs> but I like the color. Nope. Oh, did you hear my back? Yeah. Snap, snap, snap. Are you done? Two eighteen ninety eight. All righty. That should be three hundred. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I gave you. Yeah. Where's 282. Two, three, I thought four. you said 298. <laughs> I heard the 98 at the end. Oh, the 98. Oh, yeah. So that's one, <laughs> two, and 18. There Here, you can have those. <laughs> Glad you caught that. <laughs> all man. right. You have to hand this all right back to him. What's he doing to me? Oh, man. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Then, all right, guys. Another estate sale. Same weekend, different sale. Thought it deserved its own video because we found some special stuff. So let's look at it. So first off, we'll start with the good but not as exciting things. A couple hats, LAPD Tide Racing Team in Holland. So I usually buy these if they're cheap. Um, sometimes they're really special. I don't think these are, but I can lot them up with other ones that I get in the future. Or I might try to sell them as is. Um, I'll have to look up comps for those. We got a Delta beanie. So it's got a little rip in there, but pretty cool. I've never seen one. Uh, Delta is really popular here in Georgia and um, airline stuff sells easily. So that should be an easy sell. Sale, easy sale. <laughs> anyway, a couple of these horses. So I thought these were bright horses. As soon as I picked them up, I knew that they weren't because these are like the cheap hollow plastic. But they are made by Heartland, H-A-R-T-L-A-N-D. And to my surprise, they actually have decent value. So at this estate sale, the ladies took off all the price tags, so I can't remember how much I paid for these, but I think they were just a couple dollars. So um, I'll sell those individually because they're different poses for the horses. Those should be decent profit. I got a Batman mask. So this is not vintage or anything like that but it was a couple dollars so i went and picked it up again christmas is a couple days away so i need to get these listed these are bubble lights so when these things heat up um the bubbles kind of float up and down on them i don't have any way of testing these but i don't see any reason why they won't work some of them are kind of grody looking but i think as long as they're sealed and they're not all corroded you know, at the, the base of them i think they should be fine but when I list them, I will say that I'm not able to test them. So next we have this awesome, awesome Lamborghini poster. This is vintage. So this is 1988. So in the, the peak of the uh, Countach era here, we've got all the different Lamborghini cars that I guess were made up to 1988. Did you guys know that Lamborghini made a truck? Yeah, they also make tractors, if you can believe that. They started out as a tractor manufacturer. So I think that should do decent but Lamborghini is pretty iconic and so are these 80s posters. So I'm thinking probably $30 hopefully out of that. And the reason Lamborghini even exists is because of this guy right here, Ferrari. This is a Hot Wheels, uh, this is a 1 18th scale. This would have come in a nice box. Um, there were no boxes available at the sale for these. Sometimes people keep the boxes, but I guess this guy didn't. But this is, I think it was like a 50 or $60 car without the box. So we picked that up. I got a bunch of remotes in a bag. This is an Iowa, a Toshiba, another Toshiba, and a Sanyo remote. For a couple dollars, I picked those up. Didn't even look them up. I think this remote right here is probably the best one. What's the newest? So hopefully $20, $25 out of those. Got some Hot Wheels. I'm not gonna show you those two, four at the bottom yet, cause those are my favorites. But we've got all these different Hot Wheels. These were individually priced, so the ladies running the sale knew what they had, you know, they looked them up. But I picked out all the ones that were in good condition or mint condition or decent enough condition like that gray on bus there to sell by itself. I left some other ones that were not in great shape and weren't that valuable but you know a lot of these i'm not really sure what i'll make on them a couple dollars a piece like i said it's enough for me to list them individually this one right here this thing is mint i don't see any chips on it anytime you guys can find hot wheels that are vintage and mint they don't have to be red lines or anything like that this is just a normal casting from the 80s but it will bring decent money versus something that looks like that so here's a spoiler sport. It's not mint. Um, I haven't seen a white one before actually, so I'll have to look that one up. Here's the Pennzoil truck. That was in decent shape. It's got a few nicks. Like I said, these are worth enough for me to list them individually. And then the holy grail of all Hot Wheels, we've got red lines, original red lines. So guys, this is like the third time this year that I found red lines at a, at a yard sale, which is 
absurd. I've never found this many red lines before, but I am not complaining. I did pay up for these. Um, one of them I paid $40 for either this the fleet side or the Thunderbird. I didn't pay $40, excuse me. It was half of that, so I paid 20. But these are in decent shape. This is unfortunate here because this is the most valuable one. Um, I'm not sure if maybe some battery acid got on it or it was in water or something, but it is all corroded. So that's a special one that was from the Redline Club back in the 60s. So it's a rare car. It's chrome like that, but still, it's probably a $20 or $30 car. Here's the custom Mustang in red. Again, that's probably a $30 or $40 car. And so are both of these. Purple wasn't the most popular color, so it's usually one of the more valuable colors you can get. Uh, pink being the most valuable. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed seeing those red lines as much as I liked getting them. Because again, you just don't hardly see that kind of stuff at estate sales. So. I hope you guys enjoyed everything and learned something, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.